She's a big girl. We Hello angels, welcome back to another vlog. My camera seems to be struggling to focus, so I'll try and keep an eye on it, um, but it just seems to be struggling. I don't really know why. Um, I'm on the way to a workout class. I've never been, this is a new, <gasps> I haven't got my money. Oh my God, I have, I've got six pound. Hi, lucky is that? Thank you, universe. I really panicked and I was like, oh no, I forgot my cash. This six pound wipe for me, everything works out, okay. Um, I'm on the way to a new workout class, my nan wants to come, so I'm going to pick her up. Um, so I've got to leave quite a lot earlier than the class, but my nan doesn't live like she lives close ish to us, so I have to um, because basically my nan and dad's are sharing a car at the moment, so and dad's is out, so I gotta go and get the rat bag, um, but. This week, where the only thing I know what ha what happening, I need to sort. Out, I want to declutter and clean the house. Need to do that because we're going to Somerset on Saturday um, or Sunday. Um, so obviously you can come with me. And we're going to see our mums and nans also working away. So it's kind of worked out well because while he's working away, I can stay at my mums. Um, so yes, I am. I'm starving, didn't have time for breakfast before I came out. I... Oh, you're not indicating. What was I saying? And then we're saying bye to Jo because she leaves for Australia this week for six weeks. So, yeah. It's a sad, sad week. But very happy for her. But I will really miss her. We're going to get a pedicure tomorrow. Um, we're going to go for, like, brunch one day at this place in Birmingham. Um, I've got no set plans really apart from um, that, that I wanna just clean, declutter um, before we go away. So it's rattling in here, it's winding me up. I think it's my Delina perfume. Um, so yes, that is what this morning is going to entail. Um, trying a new workout class. I'll try and get any clips but it's my first time in there and if it's busy then I just will not be doing that I hope you know that because um, I get scared so I will let you know how we get on in terms of the class if I get any clips um, you're in such a weird position because my camera keeps like defocusing itself I don't know why it's struggling to get together this morning I washed off my tan and um, washed my hair so we had a bit of an everything shower which was nice oh, sorry I was trying to find where to put my bag tan my perfume um i've got on my lululemons this pot zip up and then this primark because i don't like wear anything too tight when the day you've tanned because you get an imprint so i have got my um like sock this primark one on and it's quite nice and comfy so i've got that on and i've got some adenola socks and my new balance so here's to a happy healthy week Let's hope we all have a blessed week. What are we grateful for? We're grateful for our health. We're grateful for our happiness. We're grateful for our family, our relationships, whatever they may be. We're grateful for being able to afford food, having money in the bank, a, walk, a, like a house to sleep in, all the good stuff, all the important things. So let's try and have a good week. The sun's shining. It felt really springy this morning when I got up, which was really, really nice. I'm gonna take the doggies a walk today. I think I might go to Tesco or something on the way back and just get something for like brunch. Um, so yeah, feeling good today, which is nice. So I will see you at or after the class and I'll give you a review. That is a massive pothole. You meant to bring a mat or a, um, a mat or a blanket but I forgot so hopefully it'll be okay but speak to you in a bit it's 10 o'clock and it starts at half past hello 
Writing Jewels. I am back from the workout class. I am freezing cold. I'm gonna, I was gonna strip my bed, but I'm gonna sit in bed and edit because I just feel absolutely frozen. <laughs> but the class was really good. It was like cardio, but it was, it was like Zumba um, for the first half an hour, 40 minutes maybe. And then the class was like an hour and 15. And then it went to toning, so we did like abs, glutes, legs, it was like repeated squats, pulses, um, resistance bands, oh my arms feel a bit weak, um, we did like chair work, crunches, triceps, like all over workout and then the last 10 minutes we did um, was like, we'd, oh we did stretching too and then we did like we laid like, on the floor on the mat and just breathed everything out for 10 minutes and like with just some relaxing music which was really really nice so really enjoyed i'm gonna go back next week i had some parcels so i thought i'd show you i already know from the packaging what this is this is from coco pop um they've sent me some bits before but she messaged me and was like i'd love to send you another bit and i was like oh that's so kind thank you um but she sent two harnesses for Roar and Row. Is there a note or no, no? No, no, no. But she sent a dog walking bag, um, which has in it like a treat pouch or like a dog poo bag pouch and this like lacrosse body strap. And then these harnesses for the dogs. I got them in a medium, so I didn't know what size they'd be, but they are stunning and they're so soft for the dogs. And I got the boys matching. <laughs> Rolo, you got a new harness? What new harness for you? These for you. And I thought they were stunning. So they came for the boys. So thank you so much, Coco. But I can't wait to um, put them on the dogs. And then this. It says fuel PR. But I don't have a clue what this is. This is Dan's favourite moisturiser. He loves Palmer so much. He buys it all the time. Oh, that's so cute. Dear me, sending you little love from Palmer's this Valentine's Day. Enjoy your heartfelt package filled with self care goodies to pamper yourself from head to toe because you deserve to show yourself love. Oh my god, what? What's in here? So there's like, I think this had chocolates in. But it's got Palmer's hand cream, um, Foot Magic Cocoa Butter. It's got this little scroll saying Palmer's is a love language. Every bottle, every stick, every jar we make with intentions, solutions that offer comfort, radiance and affirmation have made us a mainstay in home since 1840. And then we've got a lip balm. And then we've got a huge hug in a book, everyday self-care and comforting rituals. And then we've got loads of chocolates. Oh, that is so sweet. That's so kind. Thank you so much, Palmers. I'm just going to have a little chocky. That's so cute. Thank you. That's so nice. Little Valentine's Day treat. Oh. It's like advent calendar chocolate. Yum. So yeah, there's my little packages. I really need to get on and do some work. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna <coughs> import all my clips to my laptop. I really just wanna sit and read my book. Mm, just under halfway through Akhtar book three. My hair is so frizzy because I've just had my hood on. But hello, I am just, I don't know if we're going to be in focus. I am just going to go and walk the dogs before it gets dark. It's 10 past four, so I know that it's going to get dark real soon. I'm just going to put my hood up because I just don't want um, my hair to get shitty. 
from the walk. So I'm gonna go and walk the doggos. I'll show you their new harnesses. Um, I've put them on. They're a little bit big. I think they could have done with the small, but it's fine. Um, we very like they I've tightened it as much as we can, and we very, very rarely walk on the road anyway. Um, the harnesses are just in case I need to clip them on for safety reasons while we're on our walk. Like they're very rarely walking on a lead unless we're away, like a, 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 a like. Pardon. <laughs> if we're like a, not abroad, like on holiday, you know, like in like Cornwall, Yorkshire, things like that. So it doesn't matter too much. Um, and I'm really might grow a little bit more. Um, but yes, we're nearly here. I felt a bit sorry for them because I almost didn't bring them. But it's mine and Dan's eight year anniversary today. So we're going to go for a food tonight. He's working a little bit later though, so I thought. He'll just want to come home and then we'll just go for dinner. I don't know where we're going to go. I need to have a quick look. I don't know what I fancy. I'm thinking maybe just like a nice like pub meal or something. Um, so I think we're going to go and have a nice little meal somewhere. Eight years, hey, crazy. Um, so I think we're going to do that. And then I thought, and then I could tidy up the kitchen a little bit. Finish off my vlog. I'm still doing it, guys. It's taking me hours. I, you don't realise how much yapping I do. Like, every day, it really does add up. Like, I think there was, like, four hours of footage, which is just crazy. Oh. Hang on, man. Rayla was playing with Snelly, um, but I just wanted to say good morning. Um, I did not speak to you all day yesterday, and like I just don't know where the day went. So, oh God, we got ready. Um, I got ready for the day. I bought the dog yesterday morning, then I got ready for the day, and then, bro, shush, sure, sir. Sure, And then I got ready for the day, and then what else did I do? What the dogs, and then we are ready for a little bit in the morning. So Joe then picked me up. Changed, oh, done my bed sheets. I changed them yesterday, and then um, we went to get a pedo, and it was and uh, it was too busy because it's half time. We didn't realise. So we then. And we're like, okay, can we book for an hour? So we then went to B and M, went to Home Bargains. You can have it back now. Went to B and M, went, went to Home Bargains, had a subway for lunch, and then, um, and then we, what did we do then? And then after we that we had our pedicure, and then we went straight to Jodie's grandma's, and we were there till like five. So we were there all afternoon, and then I was a bit grumpy. Um, so me and Dan went to Tesco and got some stuff for pancakes and then we were just milling about, had pancakes, but like we just, I don't know, I was just in a bit of a weird mood last night and then I literally felt, I don't remember falling asleep, I had a shower before I had pancakes, but I just don't remember falling asleep, because like I don't, like I was like, this morning I woke up in a panic at half, what time is it now? It's ten to eight now, I woke up about half seven, um, so yeah, I just went downstairs, made myself a tea, and some water and I've got a yakult in my pocket. So today, so I'm sorry I didn't speak to you, I just didn't feel, I felt a bit funny yesterday, so I kind of just wanted to apologise. I had our toes done, I'll show you. Um, but I think I did get a couple of clips on my phone, I just did not get my camera out the whole day. Um, I just felt all a bit 
of a cup of full and then today's plans are I'm gonna get up them in a minute. Rose, don't bite your leg and then um and then I'm going to get ready because me and Joe are going for like a bit of a farewell brunch this today. I found this really nice place in Birmingham. Let me show you. I don't know what it's called, one sec. I want to be a part of it. New York. Um. Where is it? I think I mapped it yesterday. It's called H A U T E D O L C I, D O L C I, and there's loads. Like my manager Mel, she messaged me originally and was like, "I really want to come here. Like, shall we go to Birmingham? Like, shall I come up to Birmingham next time we see each other?" Because she's got like a friend. Bella's licking his bits. I'm so sorry. Bro, no, yucky. Um, um, and then. I was like, yeah, and then when I saw it was in Birmingham, I was like, oh, Joe, do you want to go? And it's in, like, Ladypool, part of Birmingham. <sighs> Hello. You're so rude, but I'm just trying to get the menu up for you. One sec. Halt. Right, go get my echo bottle, thank you, because you lick your bits. How many? Okay, they have such cool stuff, guys. Okay, brunch. So they have granola bowls, they have two types of those. They have brunch, like Eggs Benedict, Avo Perfect Day, English Breakfast, Shack Shuka, Little Egg Sighting. Oh, look, like an egg cross up. Raw, what do you, if, does anyone else's poodles just groom in the morning? It drives me crazy. Raw. Stop it. Um, spicy hash, Mediterranean hummus, jalapeno bites, fire fire <laughs> crackers, ah, my boob. Teas and tenders, dynamite chicken, fries, parmesan fries, loads of veggie fries, blah 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 blah. Okay, then they do like burgers and like club sandwiches. And then like this is you can have oh my god, they have cheese toast in the burger. That's sick. And then where's the hang on, I'm doing something. Can you hang on a minute? Okay, this is where it gets fun. So they have a, like, this is, they have egg explosion, fondue, cheesecake, biscoff, croffle, French toast. They've got four different types of French toast. They have waffles and croffles. They have got loads of them. They have, um, I'm still going down that, chocolate cookie dough and pancakes, trays. They've got, um, crepes, they've got cake, they've got ice cream, they've got different patisseries and different cakes, they've got like the whole, oh they've dipped strawberries, oh, incredible, they have so much and then listen to the coffees, cold, so they have a classic Spanish ice latte, I've always wondered what that is, oh it doesn't let me click, so to caramel frappe and then they have a Nutella iced coffee and a sticky toffee one and then they have just normal like they have a blue sapphire latte do you not really know where to see sorry no Rolo's drinking they're never quiet um so yeah so I feel like we'll be able to have some yummy stuff and um, they have like fondue and things like that I'm really excited um I'm assuming the menu is the same everywhere you go, hopefully. Um, but the, oh, they've got one in Cheshire Oaks. It seems to be more this side of the country, like Cheshire Oaks, Trafford Centre, Harrow, Edinburgh, Manchester, Leicester, Leeds, Wembley, Preston, Ilford, Bolton, Blackburn, Coventry, Perth, Liverpool, Watford, the O2. So. He's the biggest drinker. So yeah, I'm going to have a look on TikTok as well, um, what the food looks like. So I'm excited. But I just wanted to catch you up, really. I don't know what... Um, 
I don't I don't know what time I might voice note Jodie now and say like what uh, POA and then yeah there's no other plans it's Valentine's Day but I mean it was obviously it was our, uh, our anniversary on Tuesday and um, we're not really that bothered like we're not I feel like love should be shown all year round you know it's nice to like get a bunch of flowers and stuff but I honestly don't care like Valentine's Day could pass me down pass me away and I just wouldn't care you know um so I honestly don't care um And then let me go. Let me know what. Like, obviously, that's just my personal preference and our personal preference. We, we've been together quite a long time too. Like, we do date nights and like things like that. Not that he's very. He's not really a flower kind of buy and bot guy unless there's a reason. He's not very good at things like that. But apart from that, do you know what I mean? Like, we go on meals and stuff. It doesn't really bother me. But what I know, some people have like quite extravagant Valentine's plans. Let me know if you guys have like any traditions or anything. Um. I feel like it really just depends what suits you in your relationship. Like, obviously, I don't really drink or anything, so we don't really... I don't know, we're just such home birds, you know? Um, hello. You are such a pest. It was my aqua that you can smell. No, thank you. No kisses. Okay, happy now, you had a drink, you've had a wee, you've got your toy, what more could you want? Hmm? So yeah, I'm going to sit, I am, <laughs> I am stroking you, I'm going to play, can you stop chapping your lips? You also feel thank God. I love you. I love you. He's obsessed with having his chest tickled. He loves it. And it gets so bloody boring. <laughs> um, sometimes I do it a bit rubbish and he either stops or just walks away. Like sometimes he asks for more. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, is that. <laughs> You're a mess. So I'm going to message Joan. Ask her because she's having a haircut this morning for her Australia prep. So I'm gonna see what her plans are, and then I'm gonna see what time she wants to. Ah, you're on my boob. What time we go out? And yeah, that's it really. But I just wanted to have a little catch up this morning and have a little chat with you guys. Don't lick your willy. We're on camera. It's gross. <laughs> Is anyone else's dog this needy? Spoil energy. Rolo. It's a good job you're cute, isn't it? <laughs> you cute. Is it a good job? Is it a good job you're cute? Let me eat your snail. I think I'm fancying that option more than ever playing. Rather than tickling. Roy just likes to stay out of it, over it. Didn't you? My baby. Um, so yes. Let me know. Um, what plans you've had over the Valentine's Day, obviously it'll be over by the time you see this, but let me know what you guys um, get up to, and I will see you either on the dog walk, when I get ready, whatever, say peace, <laughs> peace, <laughs> bye. Your teeth are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You have the most gorgeous teeth, don't you, Ross? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do, mummy. Hello, angels. I'm back from walking the dogs. I've just put some skincare on and I've decided I'm going to put some rollers in my hair today. Um, I haven't really done it in a while, so I thought, why not? I'm just going to put some heat protect in my hair. Um, and I just had a package from L'Oreal, which I'll show you in a sec. I'm just letting my skincare like go into my skin. Um, and just marinate. I've got some castor oil on my brows and lashes too. 
so that'll give that a second to just sink in. I feel like when your lips look dry, it's just not a vibe, is it? <laughs> so I'm gonna put on the GHD Heat Protect. This is so good. It smells incredible too. Honestly, it smells insane. I don't know. Oh, I've got a clip, claw clip here. So, I haven't rallied my hair in ages. Look, I've low-key forgotten what to do. They've been on for like a good 15 minutes, maybe more. My boobs are falling out of this. Sorry about that. Right. Let's do the fringe first. Fringe. I don't actually have a fringe, as you know. I don't have any layers at all, to be honest. I'm going to get my hair done next month, I think. Because um, the blonde's starting to peek through. I like the colour, I'm happy with it. I feel like it looks like I've got like really natural highlights. It's so, like I don't dislike it at all. Um, but I might have... To, I don't want bangs, because I just feel like I just wouldn't be asked to style them. But I think I just want like face framing, but like long face framing, just because my long, shortest layers are really quite long. Um, so I'm just going to grab one of the smaller ones. These are... I feel like I've never actually said what these are, but in case you guys don't know, these are just the pink. I got mine from Amazon, I believe. They're pink Remington um, hair rollers kit. Oh, no. um, tomorrow, we're going to have a big, fat clean with me. We're going to clean the whole house together. Um because I want it to be clean and tidy before we go to Somerset. Okay, that's one, oh, this battery's gonna die. Uh, my, my thing's here, let me just get that. Okay, we've got a full battery. I'm just watching on YouTube. I've been watching McKenna's weekly vlog, but I've swapped it for Busy Bee Carices. I, I don't know how, like, I never know what, you know when, like, you watch a YouTube, like, you don't know what other people call them. Like, I call her, like, just, like, Caris from James and Caris, or, like, I don't, I never say her, like, full name, which is what, is it Caris Whittaker? Like, I don't know why. Ah, I'm struggling to get the rollers in. One sec. That is so hot. Ah! There we go. Um, so I never know what um, people call like their favourite YouTubers. Like, you know, do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm being silly or not, but yeah. So I am. Um, I'm watching her a huge mid-size pre-spring haul try on 2024. I love. I, I honestly am obsessed with her. Like, she's just the most real, honest person. She's like, in this is in my opinion, obviously. She's just so like body positive and like she's not afraid to show her insecurities and like i don't know i just really admire her i really do like she's gone from a size she's ranged in her like body type from like a size six like six to 16 with like no curves to curves and i don't know i just personally really really like her i think she's a really really nice girl um i just really really like her to be honest with you i think she's she's lovely and i like watching their vlogs too they're just very real like i don't know i just really like her i think she's a, i think she'd be a really like positive person to be around um which is i feel like you can't really ask for a better vibe off somebody can you um so yeah really really like her i if you struggle for people to watch and you kind of want someone with like a a positive vibe and like especially body positive if that's something that interests you i mean i'm sure it interests everybody no matter what size you are it's just like i don't know she's just a really good person to watch in my opinion um but yes come on baby let the good times roll come on baby let me through your soul I feel like this is going to be boring for you guys to watch now. So, shall I time lapse you?
iced coffee and we went for uh, like just a uh, picky bit to start over to you. Oh, is it here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if that looks nice. And that told us for a while. Not to talk to me. Where was the rack though? Mm -hmm. You just can't get enough one, can you? This is what it looks like. Be right free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, our names have gone. Jode got a biscoff croffle. Croffle, I can't wait. A croffle, which is a croissant and a waffle, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe so. I know I got French toast. How insane. We'll let you know. What do we think? Mine looks really doughy. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, is it crunchy? Yeah, it was like soft, but then like crunchy. In there. We'll let her do a taste test. Hi. Is it good? <laughs> right, guys, I'm yeah. here. Quality on our coffees. Oh, wow. Really good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I hope the synth is not on the French toast and that's what I can smell. No, no, you can smell. Oh, mine's soft. Look at that. Slice. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> well, the creation hack. Hello. I thought I would come and review our experience location. Yes. I'd give a zero out of ten. <laughs> it's just a bit scary. We've never been here before, and it's a bit intimidating. A lot of staring. Yeah. It, and like it's literally on just like a random high, high street. street. Um, and like a very it's like a bit gangy. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Would you say just a little bit like? neglected like there was no like car park and what like we just sort of had to like ditch the car on the side of the road and it felt a little bit like oh, scary don't you know where to go yeah um okay but these are our three to eight from. but it's quarter to four yeah what the hell have we done today what on earth no. what did you say darling um, we're writing that again. The one we went to for the first time. Oh, Ilion. Inois. Oini, Inios. Something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. And. Oh, actually, I wonder if I can stick you here, guys. Hang on a minute. I don't know if it'll stick to this, though. No. It might want to stay. Sometimes you just need a bit of friction, don't you? Sometimes if you put your my phone up under it. Stick my. Do you know what I mean? Make a little. Sticky. they gorgeous dresses. Um, you may fall. Um, oh, I don't like when people flash. So, do you need a map? Are you alright? I'm hoping when I get to this one, it might be a road sign, but possibly. Um, okay, my thoughts would be it was nice. It was nice, but I don't think it was like. I wasn't overwhelmed. No, like I think I preferred the one we went to last time. Me too. In or, 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 or. Yeah, in terms of menu, Ilio. I liked that they had like the acai bars. Like that felt just very um, little dessert shop. Yeah. With like a little brunch. Made menu. a bit more bougie. Yeah. That would be my overall thoughts. I think I'd probably give it a. It wasn't badly priced though. No, it was we like had 20 quid. Chips, a coffee. Um, Mia had French toast and I had, what, what did I have? Oh, the croffle. 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 Croffle like that. And it comes to £20 each, which I don't think is bad. Nah, I, I take it's like standard. Average, isn't yeah, it? like, the, but the coffee's like when, so the coffee's like when I looked at the bill, like four seventy each, which is about right these days, unfortunately. Yeah. What's that with the sign around? Right at the bottom? Sure. Sweet Street. Sweet shirt, I'm absolutely yeah. sweating. Yeah. Um, Hello, my girl. We're not really sure where we are. Um, but yeah, so I'd say it was nice, but like I think where we went at, for your birthday was nicer. Me too. It, it was more like a different menu, wasn't it? Yeah. There was like mixed things on there. Like, you know, you can have sweet and savoury. Yeah. That was very like, you're either having sweet 
Or you haven't saved, right? Yeah, I agree. But I'd like to watch it on The Apprentice. So, is the owner on The Apprentice, did Mel say? Like, all she said was... It um, was on there, that, was it No, I think... No, I, I don't know how The Apprentice works, but all she said was they they either went there or reviewed it, or oh, okay. I, I don't really know. Might have been on there as part of the task. Do you reckon? Um, so, I'm not quite sure. But, yeah, it was nice. Um, it wasn't, like, the best, like I said. But it was good. I just can't believe where the day has gone. To be honest with you. Long time to get back. It's going to be dark. And it's going to be like five o'clock. Yeah. What do you mean five o'clock? <laughs> All we've done is go for brunch all day. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Have you got to go to the house now? No, first night in three you know, weeks. Are you excited? Is Ollie or no? I don't, well, he was. That, I don't know if I couldn't connect to the pool, but he did say this morning. I think I might have a night off, go to the gym. I think I might start ordering stuff for the bathroom. That's nice. So that'd be nice, just yeah. a nice chill night. Because we've only got a couple of nights sleeps left. Literally, when there's the Thursday, Friday, three sleeps. I can't believe it. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Oh, guys. She's off to the other side of the world. Which is just crazy to say it loud, I isn't know. it? To the other side of the world. Literally. Um, so, yeah, just treasuring every moment. What an got. aesthetic health and fitness centre, no capitals. It really, that's how it should be. Yeah, that's how we've typed it out. We love, <laughs> we hate capitals, really. I either want it all caps or all lower. Me too. No, like, so anything in between can go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I will catch up with you later. What are you having to do tonight? Um, or don't you know? Very, it's, it's one of two options, but they're literally the same because I've accidentally not, not like spread, them, spread out. them out. So it's either creamy chicken pasta or Christ. Really really Sorry, guys, I still got my platform mugs on. You can't feel it the same, no. can you? Um, or it's creamy garlic chicken. With like potato and veg, oh, so it's same meal, but we're basically what? one with pasta and one with potato. All right. <laughs> oh, how am I going to choose? Up. <laughs> um, I feel, but then like I almost feel like it should be Thursday and Friday tomorrow. Well, you know what I had the other day, which I think you'd like, like a burger bowl. Oh, okay. So I did mince, yeah, and like I fried it with onion and garlic, and then I got like burger cheese and burger sauce and like gherkins. And like avocado, like everything you'd have in a burger, you know, onions. You do salad. Yeah. And I just put it all on the plate and I did crispy potatoes as well, or chips, you could do chips. And I put it all in a bowl. Nice. Some, yeah. And then Ollie had some wraps on the side, you know, just to like scoop yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that does it sound really nice. good. That does sound good. Yeah, I threw it into one store and I thought, oh, how do I do that? That sounds lovely. Yeah. I wonder what a bit of burger sauce. I wonder if like. Places will be busy today with it being Valentine's Day, like places to eat. Mm. I don't really like going out hunting, I find it a little I've bit I've never like, really been, I don't really. When we were younger, I'm sure we went to. I don't know if we went to Miller and Carter or like a rain, but you know they have like the Valentine's menu, but it, yeah. it all feels a little bit cringe. It like, does. I'm here for And like you're all there, friend. all these couples are together. Yeah, it all feels Hi, like, hi. Yeah, it's very like. You're all there for one. And I feel like if you like aren't on a like date, you're assumed you're on a date. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It all feels a bit much, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Titi Waya. Hello. Happy Thursday. I am obsessed with Beyonce's new song it as you guys know I like country songs anyway and this one's called Texas Hold'em and it's so good like I freaking love I love 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 really enjoy so yeah I have been listening to that I showed it Jodie yesterday and she loves it too so yeah I just absolutely love it Beyonce I mean I know she's I think she's from Texas but it's just so good so so good I love it um but I'm just on the way to get my nail fixed because I broke my nails a couple of days ago. If you can see. And it's making me feel sick. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna go and get it fixed. I'm just gonna get them in full because like I'm away for a week anyway, so like they'll have just started growing out anyway. So I'm just gonna get them done. And then I'm gonna come back and clean the house. I'm gonna grab myself some lunch from I don't know where. I might pop. I'm gonna pop somewhere to get some lunch, maybe like Sainsbury's or something. 
and then I'm gonna come back and just clean the house. Um, I've walked the dogs, bath for them. The house looks honestly mental. So I'm excited, so we'll do a big clean with me um, and just get it right. And honestly, that is as exciting as tonight's gonna to get yesterday. Obviously I spoke to you after brunch, we get, got back at lot like five. Then me and Dan went and got some, um, me and Dan went and got some dinner from Sainsbury's. No, we got M&S, we got, we literally had chicken goujons, some potato slices and some salad, like nothing exciting. And then both had a shower and then I fell asleep. I don't know what time. Um, we did uh, we did some journaling actually last night, which was nice. And this morning I woke up at half five and I was so tired. It was like seven and I was still awake. I was reading, I was falling asleep reading, then I woke up at like quarter to nine. Um, so yeah, that was me this morning. But yeah, it's half eleven. Um, well, it's just before my appointment's at half past. So let's go and get the nails done. I have no idea what I want to get. I'm thinking, do something plain. I have no idea. I don't feel like they just don't annoy me. Like they just, no one's broke, I'm like, get them off me. You know, I don't want one fixed, I just want them gone. Like if it had been the same week, I'd have been like, okay, let's keep them. Oh, especially now Valentine's is over. I'm like, get these hearts off my fingers right this second. Um, so I'm literally pulling up to Sculpt now. So, TT, why yeah. die of hunger and starvation right now i'm fucking starving um i'll show you my nails in a sec i'm just pulling out i'm gonna go to sainsbury's and get something to eat because i honestly could be sick these are the nails i just had them plain clean girl milky like not gonna get bored that's the vibe we've gone for Oh, it's bright but i'm so hungry i'm really craving a packet of discos and that is what i am gonna get oh, i could just eat oh, all sorts you know you're just absolutely ravenous that's exactly how i feel what's been going on the sun's come out this is what we like it's so nice to have a bit of just light you know what i mean I really don't want to clean now, guys. I feel like I'm over it. <laughs> I'm not interested. Dan Tom is a really nice sandwich from Starbucks. And it's Red Leicester. A pickle or something. Red Leicester and something sandwich. And he said it was really nice. So I'm not, I'm not going to go and get it now. But I'm just intrigued by it, you know. No, I don't think I'll get bored of these. I feel like they're just giving clean classic girl. Because like, my office were quite, you know, woo! So I feel like these will even it out a bit. What's been going on? I can't see a fucking thing. Sainsbury's, let's go to Sainsbury's. I need to get the car clean tomorrow. Um, I think Joe wants to pop into Levi's. And then we'll say goodbye to Joe. Saturday we'll travel down to summer or so. And then Sunday I've booked a Carvery for me, my mum and Daniel. So yeah, they are the plans. I am going to my nanny Glenn's for dinner tomorrow night. She's cooking us a mince dinner, which I'm so excited for. Do you guys have like like family traditions like that? I'd, like if you say, if I say to you like I'm having a mince dinner, would you know what I mean or no? I'm trying to think if I would know if I, my nan didn't cook it. I don't know if I would. So let me know if you know what a minced dinner is. <laughs> and also, which I really don't think you guys would know, do you know what a block switch dinner is? Don't think you would know that either, but I'm intrigued. It's basically like, we used to have it when I was younger. That block switch isn't that far away from us, but it's sausages, peas, 
boiled potatoes in like I don't know if it's just mint sauce like like a mint sauce gravy and it's so good with salt on um, it really gives me like my throwbacks from when I was a kid I'd really like that space if no one's in it <laughs> no someone's in it bitches oh it's Jodie May so funny Jojo. Hello. I haven't been cleaning for that long. I've got up to, I've cleaned all in here, like dusted, um, done all the mirror, done this console table, but I've just sucked something up the hoover and I don't know what. And luckily, Daz and Glenis are on their way, so I'm going to get them to do it for me, but annoying. So I'm going to put everything back on the console table. Um, not enjoying myself to be honest with you. It's really not enjoying myself. I'd like to stop, but it's okay. Um, so I'm hoping that they're not going to be long and they can sort it out for me because I feel a bit stressed. And also, I'm going to go to Dunelm or, yeah, Dunelm in a bit, take you with me, and I'm going to need a new runner for the front and the back door. So I'm going to do that, um, but I was happily here for him, but obviously I can't carry on. So that's my update so far. A bit inconvenient, but what can you do? Um, I don't really know how to take part the hoover. That's not really something I've ever looked into and I'm just a bit scared. And I think if the professionals are on the way, let the professionals do it, you know? So that's what I'm looking like. The kitchen and the bathroom are uh, upstairs is uh, apart from my bedroom, <laughs> but in here was bad, but it looks better. So I'm nearly finished hoovering in here. I've cleaned the table, but I've marked it, which is annoying. So I'm now going to put the cushions back on there. And uh, Daz is just going to look at the coffee table for me. So right now, that's the plan. I'm so hungry. Still have it. All I've eaten is um, I bought the like warm chicken nuggets from um, Sainsbury's Hot Counter. Not a fan. Not a fan. So. I still haven't eaten my dinner, but like my nan came around and I've had some pickles. So I want my crisps, but I'm going to have them reward myself when I get to the kitchen as like a halfway keep going. So that's the plan. TTYL, speak to you with the next update. Wham is on, so I'm a bit scared about getting copyrighted, but bathroom. I've let this get a tip, and if I'm being honest, I rarely clean these shelves. So I'm gonna be the strong, independent housewife I'm gonna be, and clean these shelves, and redo them. <laughs> I bought this. I'm saying, because it was on the sale. I love this finish it. Got a tiny bit left. Really, really nice. It's really gentle on the skin. Look. Don't love the smell, but I liked this too. Completely in it. 
Also, I've worked with them, but genuinely really enjoying this skincare coats. Got the toning milk and the moisturiser. I'm loving it. Really love this. It's got niacinamide, uh, hyaluronic acid, ceramide. Um, yeah, I honestly really, really like it. angels so this morning I got up at like I think 10 to 8 I've had some breakfast I've done some work and it's now 10 o'clock and I want to sort out my room this room is a bit of a mess and um, I'm just going to quickly show you the L'Oreal package I've got Leave it so I'll put it here so I can see so it's purifying salicylic acid and hydronic hydrating hyaluronic acid um and in it is i'm just going to take a photo they've put a scalp massager um scalp treatment gently exfoliate and then they've put in the shampoo 72 hour purifying shampoo and conditioner excess oil and residue product build up and impurities and dead cells so thank you so much l'oreal for sending these over from <clears throat> from where we've cleaned around downstairs and stuff well, this was a really nice one um i've just got a load of stuff that i just need to sort out from like drawers and stuff i finished cleaning yesterday and i honestly didn't finish just come back to my miss rollo sorry Ro. <laughs> sorry Ro. Oh. So I just want to sort out all my crap, basically. Um, so the shampoo and conditioner can go downstairs. There's freaking top, tr top trumps here, um, which I can go downstairs um, in the little shelves. I've then got my croc gibbets, which I feel like I'll decorate my crocs when it comes to like spring when I get them back out. So. I want these, everything I want I'm going to put on the chair. So my Nintendo Switch. I need to find a home for this little diffuser because I just don't know where to put it. Fake tan needs to go downstairs. Hello baby. Um, and then these are all my little suction pads for my phone to create content. So we want those. This is my Kindle charger, phone charger. I've got my iPad here, which needs cleaning. Um, and then we've got the doggy's brush. Can I brush you? He hates being brushed. Good boy. That is so nice, you having your hair brushed. <laughs> that needs to go downstairs too. And then I want to decorate my Kindle, like I keep saying, I still haven't frigging done it. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to do that this morning. I'm going to put that this side. I've got this gorgeous candle that I showed you guys from TK Maxx, but I want to put that downstairs honestly smells like heaven so i'm gonna put that downstairs you know what it smells a bit like the harajuku lovers do you remember those perfumes it smells like that um i've got a candle that just has already started been burning this is the yankee candle in christmas cookie that just needs to be finished i got this like from b&m dan bought it me in the challenge but it's just not very good bless him not that he would know it's not his fault but it's just shit i never use it so i'm gonna put this in the bin um it just doesn't work i've got my instax printer i'm gonna put all these in my like technology drawer um this little satin slip mask i feel like this will be nice in the bedside table plug 
working on the technology drawer. I've got these little meditation cards and I love them. I just don't really use them, but I feel like it's a shame to like throw them out. So maybe should I put them in the bedside table drawer? Um, and then these are just like memory things. Like I've got a card from Dan, from my nan, my old art book when I was little, from when I was in year seven. Should we see if I was any good? Oh, there's a little thing here saying I love my granddad. Um, I'm never very good at art, so don't expect anything crazy. Oh, here's my Lego brick. Oh, she only gave me five out of ten. Oh, I thought that was really good. I thought that was fucking brilliant, actually. I couldn't do that now. I didn't, didn't really do much else, so I don't think. I didn't really like art. I, I'd like, I don't mind it, like, you know, if you're doing it in your own, like, in your own time. It just feels a lot of pressure when they're, like, watching you, you know? Um, so this is more, like, memory stuff that I've got, like, a little memory box. So we can put that all together that goes under the bed. Same with this, what's in here? Score report. I don't oh that's Dan's. What's this? That's a quote for Dan. I don't remember where he put all the stuff in he? I don't know the Um we've got a broken coat hanger. My hard drive. A lot of this which is like Technology, which is good, can just go in my little technology drawer that I've got. Wi Fi password. The nice lip mask can go up there. I've got this hand sanitizer. I remember when I bought them, but they're just so shit. Like, compared to actual like spray ones, they're just not very good. They're firmer from she and boots. Please. Not there. Head massager can go in the bedside table. Sometimes Dan absolutely loves that. <sighs> got this little bit of decoration. I'm just spat. <laughs> My Apple Watch, I need to put it back on because I love it when it's on. It's just getting into the like habit of it again. Um, this is a bracelet. To be honest, that's gone through quick out. I've got like a tripod, my old camera that's broke. So sad. I've just got so much random shit, to be honest with you. Um, that I don't really know what to do with. So, yes, actually not that much to go through, which is nice. Um, I am... There's his dad's like, little manifest book. And I think this is his diary. He, he's so stupid. He was like, where's my plan the other night when we were journaling? Right here. He, I was like, go and have a look in the room. Was it in there? Yes, I knew it was. Um, so actually not that much to sort out. I need to take a boohoo parcel back. And me and Jode are going to... The outlet today uh, we've been invited to over there um like we've been given a little gift card to spend um so which is really cool so we're doing that um and then yeah and then we say bye to jode and then i'm going to go and take the dogs a walk this afternoon with my nan and we're going to what else are we going to do um we're going to What else? I'm gonna get my car washed and I'm going to Danny Benny's for tea tonight. So that's the that's the plan today, guys. Got some paint brushes here to do the gloss in, which I still might need to like wait for Dan to approve my sanding. That can never go to the table. Got a, a little bit of clothes to put away. Um. So yeah, and then I need to tidy my desk because that's a mess too. Um, so that is honestly everything, nothing exciting going on here. So I will check up with you in a bit and I'll show you downstairs, it's so nice and tidy which is gorgeous, you just can't ask for anything else but a tidy house can you, it's like, it's so much effort doing it but I didn't vlog because I was just like, I was just getting on with it and like, I had music on and you know so so I didn't vlog that much but I feel like you guys have seen me so clean so many times anyway like probably a little bit boring in a way um so I don't, didn't think that you guys would be bothered um but yes 
I don't know what to wear today. I'm just going to chill. I'm not going to put any makeup on. I can't be bothered. Um, just feels a lot of effort, you know. <sighs> Why is Ty doing so much effort, guys? There's just no need for it, is there? Hello, you haven't got much charge, so I'm driving, so I can't um, change you. But oh, it's been an emotional day. Um, I said bye to Jode. I didn't want to vlog. I just wanted to be in the moment, but she... Um, when she picked me up she was crying so I was crying and it was just sad um, but she's going to have the most amazing time ever so I'm so excited for her she's going to have the literal holiday of dreams so I'm so so excited to see what she gets up to um, and then she's got such a fun project to come home and renovate so yeah I'm so so bloody happy for her um, so yeah and then we went to the outlet so basically we were really kindly gifted um, a trip over to the outlet, obviously we go all the time anyway, but we were gifted a gift card and there was an amount on it and we ended up really dropping on actually because um, we both bought a bag each, so from Coach, we both bought a bag each which was almost discounted and then we went to put, like we both had to pay money towards a lot on top of the gift card which obviously not an issue. Um, but I don't know if, I don't know, but like it ended up literally costing us for these two bags, really nice bags, literally like 20, just under 30 pound, which was crazy. And like, I, I don't, I think there was a deal on like when you spend over like 200 and I don't really know. I don't know how it worked, but like, I, I don't know if it was done right. I've got no idea, but anyway, like we've got the most gorgeous bags. We I didn't have to pay a lot at all. Um, and we're, I'm so grateful for the voucher and I know Jodie's so amazing. She's got a gorgeous lemon bag with like a gold gold hardware and it's like a shoulder bag. And then I went for this gorgeous, like, I'm going to unbox it with you, but this gorgeous tote bag. And it's like a brown, all brown tote bag. Just says coach on it. And like, I think it'll just be such a nice, like, everyday bag to just shove shit in, like, shove my laptop in. Like, when I go to Somerset tomorrow. I think it'll be a really nice like everyday bag so I'm gonna show you guys that when I get home walk the dogs have my car clean they go for this gorgeous air freshener and it's like melon oh, this smells incredible so I am um, cars all clean ready to drive down I need to put some petrol in Dan's gonna put some air in my tires just to make sure they're all okay for me and then yes yeah, so we're all we're all tired all tired all tidy say bye to my nan and then we're going to it's four o'clock now ten past four it's still so beautiful which is nice and then we've got dinner at my nan's in like an hour so i'm gonna go home and um and then go to dinner at my nan's and then we're gonna go and pack when we get back so we can pack together but that's what today's consisted of. Sorry, I haven't vlogged much. I've just been really present, but you're gonna die any second now. You're on, you're flashing orange. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you at some point later. I'm gonna box the bag together, pack together, and I'll see you later. Love you guys. Okay, I'm home. Should we unbox the new? Is Dan gonna come in and ruin it? Possibly. I'm gonna put some lip balm on. I'm so hungry, I feel sick. I've not eaten all day apart from some seafood sticks. Okay. Hello, okay, let's unbox the bag of dreams. I'm gonna do a TikTok as well, so if I'm not looking directly at you guys, I apologize. Oh, why do the cars have to come through while I'm doing that? She's a big girl. It's come in a little dust bag. She's a practical purchase. Okay, let's get her open. I went to, if you know where we live, we live in the West Midlands and there's the MacArthur Glen outlet and they've got a coach there and it's a gorgeous straw and they were so nice and helpful in there because I was really struggling whether I wanted like a shoulder bag or whether I wanted a like like a bougie tote bag you know nearly there 
and i feel like coach is such a good brand like then don't they're not like crazy expensive but they're still like a nice designer um and i just love them i've got a few coach bags now so this can be built into my collection we need to think of a name for her so if you guys have any names for her let me know or she could be a boy i'm open to options um how do i get that one there was a really nice cream one that I was like having a toss up between and it had like little card holder things but I've got a lot of little shoulder bags and I feel like this will just be nice and practical for like taking like travel and like things like that. Okay. The only thing I think I might take off is this little bit of this little silver clippy thing here. I'm not a massive fan of that. It also just pushes together and clips this is what she looks like i feel like it looks really classy and it gave me like pauline vibes and um, if you know pauline paris it gives me that sort of vibe and i just really like it i feel like i'll wear it so much and i just thought she was good this is what she looks like obviously she'll be filled but this is what she looks like I'm obsessed. I feel like she's so cute and I'm just really excited to wear it. I feel like it will fit so much in. Be like fit my laptop in. But I'm going to some set tomorrow, so this is gonna be my little travel bag. So yeah. Gorgeous porch. Also the names on here I think. Coach. Coach Signature C Design Coach and Tag. Is that my name? Or oh I think it's the Cameron Toe. C A M R N Toe and it's in the colour latte. Hello, sorry if the lighting's a bit rubbish, I'm just packing. Um, my case is out. So, I thought we could fold and put everything in. I've put four pairs of shoes, not that I need four pairs of shoes. And am I even really going anywhere? No. But that doesn't matter. Hi Rayleigh, Rayleigh's on the other side of the pile, okay. I'll do the bulky stuff first. I'll put my full from wrestlers track suit in. I don't know whether it's best to roll. What's the best? I feel like when they're thick, does it matter? I'm taking a big case because it's just easier to lug around, to be honest with you. I'm doing it for no other reason than that. Okay, I don't know where the bottoms are. I hate it. So we've got that. Roly poly. And then I'm going to take this jumper. I've also got some navy leggings and some grey leggings. This could go with. It's just comfy and easy. See, like, I just don't feel like that is more space rolled. Let's lie this one flat. And then I'm going to take this stripy bodysuit from Boohoo. Sorry, the ankle's not very good. And then I'm going to take just a basic of, I mean, this one's a bit dirty, but I can wash it with my mum's white Adenola top. And then I'm going to take a swimming costume, so I might go swimming at Nuffield. There's a Nuffield in Yeovil. And then I've got a grey Adenola top. So I've got white, grey, stripey. And then I've got my um, skims top somewhere around here i'm also taking my gray like yogury i kind of want my white fox ones i think more i'll put these in but i'll see if i can find my white fox ones what are you doing Rolly? and then i'm gonna take a cap but i'll put that in last um i'm gonna take this tracksuit And then the hoodies here, just a design studio because I'm not really going to be doing anything while I'm there. So I just, well, I say I just want to be comfy. I'm comfy every day anyway. And then I'm going to take this grey PFT tracksuit. Then skims top, 
just this maroon one because it's just so comfortable and it goes with anything and then we'll probably go for a run when we're there so I'm going to take my pink a lot. I don't really need to take these I don't think I don't know if to not take these no I'll take them because they're so comfy anyway my lines then I've got my blacker lines and then I'm going to take my navy lines too Lululemon, like, I don't even think about my, I don't know, leggings really since the only, I've got my grey pair in here, but I don't really think of them, I've got, but I'm just going to take one more padded if we do go for a run, I don't know, the grey leggings, because these are like the soft one, not the gym one, Um, I'm just going to put a cap at the top here, Um, and then I've got another bra, And then I've got my, it's a bit shabby to be honest now, but I'm just going to take this cream jumper from Primark. And then I'm going to take a couple of these little bras um, for just comfort. And then I've got three pairs of socks. I'm going to leave one pair out of these, my Jacquemus ones. These are another version. Are these Jacquemus? Yeah, because they're so comfortable. I'm just gonna put my socks in my other bits. And then I bought some socks from Primark. I'm gonna put them in. My back's killing sitting like this. And then I'm gonna, my makeup's already in a bag packed. Just need to put my brushes in. And I've got my little bear socks as well, in case I want them. So I've got a few pairs of leggings, a few pairs of joggers, and then I'm gonna, just going to shove in a pair of um, my, you know, my blue stripy trousers because I wear them a lot too from Zara. And I'm going to do some clothes shopping while I'm there, to be honest. So clothes, that's it. I'm just going to chuck a few, like, a few staple coats in, like a warm coat, my fur coat, and then like a jacket. So that is me done for the night. That is all the stuff I'm going to take on there for a week. Um, and we're not doing anything, like I said, nice or exciting while we're there. So I will TTY out and I will see you tomorrow. Hello angels, we're on our way. We are off on our travels. Got a little coffee, we had a McDonald's breakfast. Um, doggies are in the back on the quill. They keep swapping to their leads and getting caught up, like the seatbelt leads. They're getting caught up, but I've put it on the loosest ones, hopefully. They're all good. Uh, just been sharing a little hash brown with them both. Um, I'm following Dan, just because he knows the way. I can probably take my backs off, but I'm just like, I like to know how like long it, it's going to take me. I've got a pineapple stick from Mackie's feeling. Um, you know, like, when you've had carbs, like, aka okay, hash brown, and you're like, need some water. ready to go. <sighs> Can't really be bothered. But it's okay. It says it's going to take 2 hours 36 from now. I've been driving for like only like 10 minutes or so. They're both flying down. Good boys. We love you both. But yes, I will catch up with you as and when. But for now, I'm just going to drive. I'm going to, I've just got to move on at the moment. Nothing crazy. I might put a podcast on. Might listen to the girls' bathroom or like one of our free woods or something, but there's only so much you can do, isn't there? But cheers to a safe drive, hey? And happy Saturday. <laughs> you okay, baby? You gonna lie down and have a nap like raw? No. Have a lie down, sweet bun. Oh, 
stopping us right now. Classy rose, baby. If I was just another dusty record on the shelf. Sing along to my stereo. We are casting in our path of all. What do I stand for? It's not my name. Did you never leave? off the vlog it is now monday honestly this weekend i don't even know where it's gone obviously we got here saturday afternoon gone very quick we it? had a really good journey um and then we just spent time with my mom saturday yesterday we went for a dog walk but had a car free honestly the day just kind of ran away for us didn't it? it did um but i hope you enjoyed the vlog nonetheless um I feel like I can't, I can't even remember what happened that last week to be honest with you, I feel all confused. Um, but I hope you, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see you in next week's vlog. Love you so much and have a great week. You wanted me to say something like it. <laughs> have a great week, guys. See you soon. Stay, Love you. stay positive. Stay positive from the Positive King in the channel. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>